What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Michelle Renee from IamMichelleRenee.com. And today I have a very amazing special guest. I love them all. But today this one is extremely special to me because she's my sister friend. What's up, sis? How are you? Welcome. I'm good, girl. How are you doing? I am amazing. Tell everybody who you are, what your brand is, and where you are. Like, they need to know where you're from and where you are. So tell us a little bit about who you are. So I'm Shelly. Um, my brand, I have a few, but we're here to talk about Nina Van Co today. Um, so Nina Van Co is a brand. Um, it's owned between my mom and I. We handcraft unique items um, and, you know, sell them to you or make them for you. You know, we custom a lot of stuff. So I sew and my mom crochets and um, we're currently in San Antonio. But I'm from the Midwest. I'm a Midwest girl. I'm from East St. Louis, Illinois. Um, so yes. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. If you pay attention to any of my posts, Nina Bay and Co is behind my favorite custom bag. Oh my gosh, I get so many compliments on my bag. It's very dirty right now. I gotta wash it because I can. I can wash it. Um, but everything about this bag is handcrafted and sewn and even down to my zipper, right? Yep. Was custom picked and designed <laughs> for a queen. Oh my gosh, Shelly, let's talk about how Nina Bay and Co came about. So what gave you the idea to say, hey, I want to start sewing? How'd that happen? So it's actually a pretty interesting story. Um, I've only been sewing for about five years. And when I feel like I love to sew and I was like, oh, this is it. Like, I was just, I, honestly, I was just good at it. Like it, it was to the point where I took my first sewing class. I didn't even know which way to turn the sewing machine. Like my teacher, she still laughs to this day cause she follows and I send her like, you know, little things that I've done. Like, check this out, check me out. She's like, best student hands down and it's funny because when I first met you you didn't even know which way to turn the sewing machine so I learned how to sew because my daughter wanted to sew so we took some classes fell in love and the business came about because my mom has been crocheting for years like mm -hmm. when I was a kid and I would always tell her because she's retired like ma you should start you should start selling your stuff she would make stuff and give it away I'm like girl, you need to sell these things. And so once I started sewing and I, you know, kept practicing at it and I was like, you know what, how about we do a joint business? Right. And she's like, sure, let's do it. You know, now that it's me and her. Um, and that's how it came about. And it's just grown. And I think we've both gotten better at our craft over the last three years. I absolutely love that. I think I started, um, ordering stuff when you first decided that you were going to make Nina Bay, Nina Bay and Co a company. And I'm trying to think what is the very first thing I ordered from you? I think I sent Layla a bag. That's what it was. Yes. Yes. Because I was the like, very first no. thing you sent her a bag. Yep. Yeah. Because I was practicing and I'm like, you know what? Let me make my guy baby a bag. I was just making random stuff. And you were like, yeah. uh-uh, yeah. I need a bag for all the girls. Yes. So, <laughs> yes, that's exactly how it happened. I was like, you cannot send one bag over here. I need four. And you're like, all right, all right. So tell me. And then that was really what made me think like, okay, so you've got this custom thing down when it comes to sewing. And I absolutely love it, love it. So then it branched into you when the pandemic hit, I know you started doing masks like in droves so much so that your husband was like helping to iron and fold and really getting involved in it. And I think that's amazing. But even with the mask, you started like expanding to other things. So you don't just sew like this bag. Is this canvas? Is that what this material yeah, is? That's canvas. So yeah. This is canvas. But one of my favorite bags that you created by me, you created in my likeness with my blonde hair when I was rocking my blonde hair. And this is a leather vinyl bag. Yeah. Right. It is a wristlet. And I love it. It's like in it, literally, you know, me and my makeup bags. I love this bag. And every time I pull it out, people are like, where is it? I'm like, this is Nina Bay & Co. Go on Etsy, go online, you'll find it. Um, you can't have this one, but you can find something similar because this one was created for me. 
but right. I absolutely love the idea of being able to have things that are created from either a vision that you've had yourself or what your customer or client has had. Because the bag that you sold for me, my my big bag, what, it took us what about a month to really like lay out everything mm -hmm. and say, okay, this is what I want. Oh no, I don't think I like that part. Let's do it like this. And you were so patient. Are you like that with all your clients or was I just special? No, I am. And I think I'm like that to an annoyance to a lot of people because they're like, just do it. And I'm like, no, I want you to choose everything because that's the whole point. I don't want I don't want to do anything that you're going to come back later and say, well, you should have did. No, you choose it. It's your bag. Like I go through, I'll lay out every single patch I have if you want to look mm -hmm. through all the patches. And that, that's fine with me. I'm very patient. Um, with everyone because the whole point is to get a bag that you want put every single thing together so i think that's the that's what makes it fun and that's what i actually started doing first like customizing things and that's why i fell in love with sewing because once once you know i learned how to craft a bag or you know a shirt or whatever it is like i can do what i want like i can do whatever i want so it's yes. pretty cool yes i love that because when I got my bag, even though I had seen the whole process, when I got it and I opened up the package, I still screamed because it was like, oh my God, this is for real. And I immediately dumped my other purse. I was like, okay, this is my bag. And then I also ordered another bag to put inside my bag because I'm truly a bag lady. My vinyl bag with the Kenta cloth on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And I love this. I took all my stuff out because it's typically like filled to the brim. But I love everything about them. They're durable. And I'm rough on stuff. Like mm -hmm. rough. Like my bag will get tossed over there, thrown in the back of the car. You know, one of the kids are grabbing and will be dragging. And I'm just looking at how durable my things have been in the midst of having me as its owner. Like <laughs> I'm so grateful. But that's, that speaks to the quality of what you're creating. And I absolutely love that. I think yeah. that's amazing. Where do you see Nina Bay & Co. going? So that's a, you know, at first it was a hobby, but now like I, I want to continue making all kinds of stuff. Like I've already crafted another brand um, to do my baby stuff because like that's something that I don't even advertise, but I've probably made about 40 blankets. Um, and so what I did is to keep it separate because, you know, Nina Bay, I got, you know, my Kente stuff, my custom bag, uh, my makeup bags, my black girl magic bags. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to do something separate for the baby stuff that I've been making. And so I actually just branched off and my other brand is called Rosie, Rosie Posey Custom Kids because everything is going to be custom blankets, burp cloths, um, crochet items for the babies, uh, crochet socks and all of that stuff. So I'm definitely branching out. And then I just want to start, I just make more stuff. I have a lot of new items coming out. My mom has branched out from her socks and over the knee socks. Um, and she actually, let's see, oh, right here. She actually just made me this, check this out. I am jelly. Isn't this cute? So we are, tr we are doing more stuff um, and more crochet and she actually crocheted me a, a beach outfit, you know, not that I'll probably be going anywhere anytime soon, but when, when, when the world opens back up and it's time to go to a beach, we'll have um, crochet swimwear, um, more makeup bags. So this is something that I recently made. Yes. So this is a bag it has a handle I, I took it off for some reason but open it up so it has a spot for you know your makeup brushes um a zipper spot over here to put your makeup in this it has is so dope on it and this bag right here velcros in and out isn't that cool that and is so dope vinyl. So it just wipes off. Wow. I love yeah. it. So you I love see. it. And we already talked about me needing one of those, not needing it, <laughs> but me really wanting one of those because yeah. I just love the layout of it. It's like the perfect travel bag 
if you're mm-hmm. a person who travels with your makeup, I don't want to tra- take my train case everywhere. That is like perfect. I absolutely love it. What are some other items that you have that are maybe like your favorite or your top pieces? So something that's really popular is my lotion holders. Yeah, for the little Bath and Body Works lotions. Yeah. Is that Biggie? Yeah, it is. Oh my God. Yeah. I love so that. These are crazy popular. Oh, check this one out. Check this one out. Oh, wow, sis. Yeah. yeah. So guys, you got to make sure that you hit up this Etsy shop, Nina Bay & Co. Because this is amazing. I love them. I absolutely yeah. love them. I also have hand sanitizer holders that are very similar to this. They hold the um, the Bath & Body Works the little one ounce and then I have some for the two ounce lotions as well so all of those are on our Etsy shop uh, website coming soon it's in the works so yeah we're definitely expanding I got a lot of new patterns I'm going to be making like crossbody bags more wristlets I think Michelle you had the one and then I have a few more of very popular ones so like this yes the girls each have one of those they love their wristlets they love them because they have their names on them. Mm-hmm. So pretty, y'all. And here's the thing. Like, people will look at that. Hold that image up so we can see it. You embroidered that, correct? Yeah, it's, it's embroidered. That is not a patch. That is, like, a design that you took and embroidered. That is, mm-hmm. y'all. And then the fabric on inside matches it, you know? I love it. So, yeah, I just wanted to, like, making unique items that you can't find anywhere else and then I even can put names on here if people Mm -hmm. like um you know just like your bag and then I have a bunch of images you know so we can celebrate you know the black girl magic but um, yes you are all things black girl magic you are so dope in every sense of the word so what Shelly didn't tell you is that she's also in the military she's in the air force she's a wife and a mom and a plant mom like you have a lot going on and a farmer yeah you have a lot going on so how are you able to manage all these different things because you gotta your plate is full all the time how do you manage all those different things while still um fostering what you love with this hobby that's now becoming a brand and a business right time it's a lot of time management and a lot of like okay like scheduling like okay you know what Cause I, I don't think I've turned my sewing machine on all week, like either one of them. And it's like, it's tough. Cause I'm like, I gotta, I gotta be making stuff. Right. Because I, I have a business and in order to make money in my business, I have to be making stuff, but it's just really a balance and figuring out, okay, what's most important at this time. Right. Because, you know, I just, you seen all my seeds. I started all my seeds. Cause here in central Texas, you know, we have about a, 300 day growing season so I was a little late with starting my seeds but sustainability is important to me and growing my own food is important to me and so that's something that you know I'm not a pro at I'm learning and so it's like okay I have to this time um, and then I have to do work I have to do the kids and just making sure I schedule everything um, and making sure I have my priorities for that particular time and doing what's needed to be done most at that time. I absolutely love it. Tell the people how they can reach out to you. Where can they find you? What's your social media handles? And what's the handle for your Etsy shop? So Etsy is Nina Bay and Co. It's spelled out uh, Nina Bay, N-I-N-A-B-A-Y-A-N-C-O on Etsy. And it's the same on all the platforms. I'm on Facebook and Instagram. And my personal, you don't need my personal. Nah, we just need Nina Bay because that's who we're trying to get to right now. Yeah. That's what we need. (laughs) Is there anything that you want the people to know about your brand specifically or what you have in store? Um, I would just say, like I said, customs are my favorite thing to do, like Michelle's bag, um, because I really get to create something that nobody else has. And that's what I really fell in love with when I first started Nina Bay and Co. So that's kind of my passion. Um, and then Rosie Posey, Custom Kids, is going to be coming real soon. I think I've already established, like I'm already on on the social, on 
Etsy with Rosie Posey Custom Kids. I just have to start making the stuff. Like I have a lot of stuff. It's just really populating. It's, it's back to that time management. Like how do I manage all this stuff? You know. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I absolutely love it. Last question: What is one word that affirms who you are? Mm. Yeah, that's dynamic. the hard one. What's the word? Dynamic. Oh, absolutely. But tell us why. Because, I mean, I think you already told the people, like, I, I honestly have a lot going on. I don't, to be honest, before you, I, like, I know I have a lot going on. You know how, like, you know you have a lot going on, but you're like, it's not a lot. And then when somebody else tells you, like, make a you're list. Like, whoa, like, whoa. That's I a really, lot. <laughs> I really do all of that stuff. And it is a lot, but it's achievable. Um, because, yeah, I feel like you have to make time to do the things that you want to do. And I'm, I'm doing that. It, it's, it's a struggle sometimes, but to be honest, I'm just the type of person who needs a lot to keep going and it keeps me yeah. going. Yeah. It's stressful, but it's good stress. So yeah. I'm able to manage it because if I wasn't doing this, I'd probably be going crazy. <laughs> right, right. You have a very active creative mind too. And so it's important when you have that kind of active mind to keep it busy. Yeah. And I can totally relate to that. So I absolutely love it. Now you got me want to place an order for some more stuff because we usually do an order around Black History Month yeah. to make sure we're getting our stuff together. So I can't wait to see what all is in store. Although I don't have any babies anymore, I know that I have plenty of friends who can benefit from Rosie Posey. So I can't wait to start ordering more blankets and more baby things because I think that's adorable. You all check her out, Nina Bay and Co on Etsy, Instagram, and Facebook. Place your orders, get your custom bag, get all your stuff, be cute. Don't be out here with your bag, not looking cute. Get your right stuff. Make sure you have it all custom because when you got it custom, that means nobody is doing it quite like you. Y'all, thank you so much for checking us out. Follow my friend and support this black business, this dope black woman, y'all. Thank you, Shelly.